G'day everyone, Jason Nunn with this Friday's Fisherman Report proudly brought to you by Fisherman's Warehouse Marine, Sweet Street at Warners Bay and of course down here at Cockle Creek at the moment, a lot of bait all through the creek here itself but something that we noticed coming around the Esplanade there, there's just bait right the way through the lake, a little bit overcast today but a great opportunity this weekend to get out there and dangle a line, not a lot of wind, tomorrow it's expected under 10 knots both Saturday and into Sunday. Uh, this southerly has gone through now and it's really settled in quite quickly. Uh, tad cooler, that's okay, but we've got some really nice weather going into the middle of next week where we may get a change coming into east. You just gotta keep your eye on it. Full moon this weekend on Monday night. So full moon coming through. So that build up to the moon, ideal for fishing. Tomorrow morning, around about quarter past eight, high tide 1.7 and around about 2.30, 2.35, 0.5 low tide. Those two nice tide changes tomorrow, ideal. Out wide, mixed results of what's been going on. We were able to get a striped marlin there last Sunday. Young bloke Patrick got onto that, dropped a couple, seen a couple, and that was the case. There was quite a few fish getting caught down off Broken Bay, but that big bite that had been happening up off Port Stephens has sort of continued on with a lot of black marlin, uh, some boats up there catching eight and 10 or an even excess of 10 for what I'm led to believe. So some great fishing up at Port Stephens, but this water temperature at the moment is really fluctuating. Best temp that we got last weekend, 24.1 degrees, and it looks like it's even cooled off in patches. I heard some stories there this morning of patches of water uh, as low as 21 and the water going a bit green. So if you're gonna go out wider this weekend with those ideal conditions, you're gonna need to do a bit of research and possibly move around I don't think the water temperature is good as what it has been, so you may need to move out wider, but definitely blacks, stripes, and still some blue marlin out wider. Still dolphin fish on the shelf, and there's still a lot of smaller dolphin fish in on that fad line. Um, and I think the better water is probably in and around about 100 metres. We had a lot of bait through the mid 60s last Sunday afternoon coming through, but there was beautiful colour on that farm area. So that farm area down towards Texas, up all, up towards Merriweather, ideal to have a bit of a troll, chase a few dolphin fish on that trap line. And there was quite a few traps out there at the present moment. Haven't heard a lot of snapper, but I definitely know there's been some kings down south. But again, they're talking about that water being a little bit green, a little bit of slime in the water on those deeper reefs. So you're just gonna have to be well aware of that. The inshore fishery is gonna be perfect with this morning tide tomorrow. A lot of trag around, as we made mention the last few weeks, and that has continued. When this build up to the moon, those trag will basically probably go next level, and there'll be some really good fish getting caught. Still some mull away on those inshore reefs, quite a few bonito around, and there have been a few reds. And last week, I got some reports that it hadn't been as going as well as it should, but there's been a couple of individual fish getting caught throughout the Newcastle area, some quite nice quality reds off the coast at the moment. So we're starting to see this transformation of this autumn species start to move in and we're already starting to see quite a few flathead move out of the estuary. On the beaches, still some really nice tail around guys and there's still a few brim now starting to turn out. So we're starting to see those traveling fish. We're definitely seeing those traveling fish in these captures that are happening, particularly in the photographs. Those small heads and the really big high, high back on them, key indication and we're starting to see those brim now appear in the lake itself. So it won't be long, you're starting to see a few nice brim along the rocks, but some really nice tailor early on the rocks. And again, perfect for beach and rock fishing with those particular tides this weekend, and not a lot of swell. So there's still plenty of an offer for the guys that want to do a bit of rock fishing. My tip would probably be even off the rocks, have a bit of a crack for a few snapper, because in the lake at the moment, there are quite a few snapper getting caught. And when I say snapper, you know, you and I referred them to a squire for many years. The fish are around about that 32 to 40 centimetres. I did see a couple of fish this week above 40 centimetres, but they're in pretty good numbers. And one of the guys uh, that came in yesterday, we had a bit of a chat to, he caught 10 throughout through the week. So to catch a bag limit catches a red in the lake is quite commendable. So we're starting to see this mixture. I know our good mate, Paul Shepherd, he had a bit of a fish down the sudden then late this week, got some beautiful blue swimmer crabs, but again, a mixed catch. A few reds, some nice brim, and some really nice flathead. And this is the reports that we've been waiting on. These flathead are now starting to move from the lake into the channel and move out and move back on the back of the beaches. There's a lot of flathead at the moment 
in the shallows 80 centimetres or better. So a lot of these breeding fish are now starting to move through the system and spill out onto the beaches. And we'll see this now as we move into Easter and of course Good Friday next Friday. So we're really beelining down. I think daylight savings should also change back on Easter as well. So we're going to see some changes that we've gone through. The equinox, of course, came through this week. So now more dark hours than there are light hours. So we're definitely going to be beelining in to winter in the next few months. The, the, the squid have been really up and down, guys. You've just got to move around. No one's blazing any trails with a squid. I think the night anglers, certainly with the squid lights off the back of the boat fishing for Mulloway, are getting more than the daytime guys. But you're just going to have to move around. But it's probably the emphasis on the blue summer crabs. A lot of crabs around, so you have a good opportunity to get out there, chase some of these crabs. Been a lot of tailor now moving to the system. Fish 45s or 50s, but there are some better fish there. And as we made mention before at the beginning of the report, a lot of bait throughout the estuary. Still some kings, and I've seen a few fish busting up over at Butterbar there the other day when we were on a site job. So there's a lot of fish in, this, in the lake itself at the moment, and the conditions, as I say, looking perfect. Guys, you just got to get out there. We're hoping to get out tomorrow with a bit of luck. Hopefully the water's good, we're not sure, but there's plenty of offer in the lake. The beaches are a good bet, and let's get out there and have a bit of a crack. And I'll probably do the report next Thursday because of Easter. I'll see you next Thursday.